Now, you're a lot bigger than Amber, correct? Physically? I wouldn't say that. Okay. Um, the stand, I would, would you agree with me that, that um, you wrote these words on the countertop at, Sweet, or at ECB, the Eastern Columbia Building, correct? And that is correct. And that's your handwriting on the counter, right? You wrote... I wrote why, it in my own handwriting, yes, sir. Why be a fraud? All is such bullshit. You see that? Very well, yes. And that's I, in Penthouse 3? I meant it. Why be a fraud? Okay. Why lie? Well, let's, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at uh, Exhibit 580. This was a document that you signed as part of your divorce proceedings, correct? That's my signature indeed, yes. Okay. Um, your Honor, move for admission of this document. Any objection to that document? No objection, Your Honor. All right, 1458 in evidence. May we publish, please? Yes, sir. Mr. Depp, that is your signature on the right, correct? Yes, it is. Dated August 15th, 2016, right? That's what it says, yes. And um, this is, you, you, you were, um, this is a document you signed, right? For the third time, that is my signature, yes. You go to paragraph 27, please. Mr. Depp, if you could please take a look at the, the stack of articles in front of you. Um, yes, it's a stack of hit pieces. Yes, the, the first one is called the Ms. Hurd's Public just, City Team. You, you poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint? Yeah. I poured myself a large glass of wine. Right. I thought it necessary. Right. The next article is an article from May 7, 2016. It's entitled, Johnny Depp, Friends and Family Seriously Concerned About Him, Here's Why. Yes. Correct? How did they know? The next article from May 1, 2017. Yesterday, you texted, texted, I'm sorry, talk, we've seen a lot of texts today. It's all right, I did text yeah. someone yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday, the next article, also from May 10th, 2017, a year and a half before the op-ed was published, says, Johnny Depp reportedly drank heavily and was constantly late on the new Pirates movie set. Did I read that right? You did, reportedly. The next article, also from May 10, 2017. Mr. This, Depp, this is a pathetic attempt. Mr. Depp, please just respond to the question that I'm asking you. What's your the question, next question, Mr. Rotten the next Bless you. The next document, an article published in Vanity Fair on May 10, 2017, Yes. Sir. Is entitled Johnny Depp's Financial Woes Might Sink the Next Pirates of the Caribbean. Did I read that right? You you did. I don't know. The how next my article financial woes would do May twenty fifth, two thousand seventeen, a year and a half before the op ed was published. An article entitled Where Did It All Go Wrong for Johnny Depp? After a string of flops and a ton of bad press, Johnny Depp's star power looks as wobbly as Jack Sparrow on a plank. Did I read that right? You read that very, very well. The next one, Hollywood Reporter. We're going to fast forward in time a little bit, Mr. Depp. Um, yes, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. A Rolling Stone article entitled The Trouble with Johnny Depp. Multi-million dollar lawsuits, a haze of booze and hash, a marriage gone very wrong, and a lifestyle he can't afford inside the trials of Johnny Depp. Did I read that right? You did. You should read the article. It's and the wonderful. last one, the last one, June 22nd, 2018, the Daily Mail, vodka for breakfast, 72-hour drug binges, and spending sprees that beggar belief. Allison Boshoff reveals why Hollywood's reeling over what's being called Johnny Depp's career suicide note. Did I read that correctly? You did. Who's Allison Boshoff and how does she know? Mr. Depp, you can't name oh, a single answer, actress. And this wasn't the first time that you talked about Amber hitting the wall hard. Let's pull up Exhibit 213, please. Hitting the wall hard based on 
the we'll accusations that she bit, threw up. I'm sorry, I was talking. Is that all right? You'd, you'd, you'd answer my question. We'll take a look at the next oh, exhibit. Thank you. Long as you're happy, sir.